Okay, so let's talk about the chapter two、uh, of the introduction to geometry.、Uh, so I find maybe I still need to recording this、uh, starting from here instead of the、uh, from the congruent triangle. Maybe the case of few difficulty of the, all the geometry problems.、Uh, let me see. Okay, so here we have a. We have a right triangle, okay. Then we do all this, and we do another one. So there are many、uh, similarities here, okay. Let me show you what's going on, okay. Let me parameterize. If this is a phase, right? So we have a. We have this. This is the first right triangle. And this one. Okay, so you can see. Okay, in the future you will be very very familiar with this. Okay, this is ninety minus the phi. Okay, and this is the ninety degrees, right? So the this must be the phi. Okay, so you can see this is also ninety minus phi, right? So now you can see the theta is here, right? So what you see is. Theta equals v equals twenty-seven. Okay. Next.、Uh, what is the number of the degrees formed by the minus hours? Okay. So uh, uh, if you learning the algebra, in the intro to LG, okay, or the pre-LG, okay. The the clock. The clock is a combination. Of geometry and、uh, algebra. Okay, so because I mean the clock, you have two angles, right? I mean the two hand, our hand and the mini hand, right? So now you know at the eleven o'clock. Let's we always starting from the eleven o'clock. Uh, from integer clock, okay, we call from the integer time, okay, integer hours. Because I mean, when the integer hours, you know your、uh, minute handle is always here, right? Your hour handle, you can write H and M to differentiate them. You can also use different uh, uh, Different symbols, okay. So you know it's thirty degrees here, right? So now it's ten minutes, right? So for every minute, as for every minute, okay,、uh, the hour handle and the minute handle, right? For every minute, the hour handle moves half de half degrees, and the minute handle moves six degrees, okay. So now you know. This is the ten minutes later, right? The hour handle move to here, so this angle is uh, uh, five uh, half times ten is equal to five degrees, and、uh, this angle, right, is、uh, six times ten is sixty degrees. So here you see it's ninety degrees, right? This is the angle you want to see. So this angle alpha is equal to The ninety degrees minus the five is equal to eighty-five degrees. Next,、uh, the question is asking you what is the x, right, from a parallel. So it's still the let's parameterize it. Okay, let's parameterize it. Let's cut this, okay? So let's put a parallel line here as well, okay? So you can see because this angle is x, right?、Uh, so d、uh, f d f parallel to a e, and uh, the d e is the cutting line. Cutting line. So you know this angle is x, okay? Then you know this angle is also x. Right, so now you know this angle is also x. Okay, 
Now you have the 2x plus x is equal to 180, so x is 60. Next. Uh, the angles in the diagram to the right angle is marked. Uh, what's the angle B, E, A? Okay. So we are trying to solve what's this angle of the alpha. Okay. No, never mind. It's very simple. Let's do the. Uh, let's do something. Okay. So the first you can see the fifty degrees and the fifty degrees, right? So it's the two lines A E and D F. A E and D F. Okay, cutting by AC, getting five, 50 and 50, you know these two lines are parallel. So these two lines are parallel, right? So if these two lines are parallel, you can see the cutting line is BD, right? So this angle is also alpha. Now what you have the, is 60 plus alpha is 90, so alpha is 30. Next, so when angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the other two, okay. So when angle is equal to sum of the other two, uh, show that the sum of the two exterior angle is 180 degrees than the third, okay. So let's see, let's see, let's do it, okay? Let's see the A, B, C, okay? Let's see the C equal the A plus B, and the, the sum of the two exterior angle is 180 greater than the third, okay? Now let's see the exterior angle. So it's 180 uh, minus A, uh, plus the 180 minus B uh, is equal to the one, uh, 360 minus A minus B, right? So let's see, let's see the uh, this angle, right? This is the sum of the exterior angle, okay? S equal this. Then what is S minus C? is equal to 360 minus A plus B plus C is equal to 180, okay? So you now you prove the sum of the exterior angle minus the third angle is 180. Next, uh, one of the angle of the triangle in the previous problem is equal to 40, okay? So you can think, okay, is uh, a plus B equals C, and uh, if if C is 40, right, the sum of the other two is 140, so there's no way uh, the, the it's the biggest number, right? So it must be one of the small number is 40, right? So that's why it's 40 plus alpha is equal C, right? Uh, then you can see also the uh, alpha plus the 40, right? Uh, plus the, also plus C, right? So is uh, 40, okay? Alpha plus 40 is equal to 180. So you can solve alpha is the uh, 50. So n now you know the angle is 40, 50. 90, okay. Next, the angle are uh, arithmetic sequence, right? X, X plus D, X minus D is a triangle, right? Uh, so you can see Add them together, 3x equals 180. So here is the 60, and the one of the angle is 100, so D is 40, and this one is 20, okay? Uh, next, 
it is possible for the interior angle to be this, but is it possible for the exterior angle? Okay, let's talk about the exterior angle. So let's use the triangle. Okay, the one, uh, two, three. Okay, so all the exterior angle basically add together is. The exterior angle say you from this direction to this, right? This direction to here, right? This direction to here. You come back at the beginning is this direction, then goes to this direction. First turn, second turn, and third turn. Come back to the same thing. After you, how you can make to the same thing means the three exterior angle alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 360. And if they are in the ratio of the one, two, and six, right, the total is nine. So you can see the one ninth map to the angle of the 40, the two ninth map to the angle of 80, and six ninth map to the angle of the 240, right? But is it possible for one of the angle is 240? So alpha, beta, and gamma should be less than 180 and greater than zero. So this one is no way. Okay, so the answer is no. Next. So A, B, C, D are showing figures. So uh, yeah, this one is uh, the, the, if you know the, let's prove it, okay? If you don't know, it's okay. So the angle of the n gang, okay, the sum in t area of n gang is n minus 2 times the 180, okay? So you can cut it into the two triangles, okay? So we have the a1 and A2 and C1 and C2, right? In triangle ACD, you have the D plus the A1 plus the C1 is 180. And in triangle BAC, you have the B plus the A2 plus C2 is 180. So when you sum them together, is D plus B plus A plus C is equal to 360. Okay, next. So it's the exterior angle, right? The exterior angle, basically, you don't need to do the calculation, okay? At the beginning is this direction, right? Turn this, go to this direction. Turn this, go to this direction. Turn this, go to this direction. And turn back to this direction again. You turn a cycle, right? So it's 360 degrees. Next. Okay, so next, uh, we are talking about the, this problem is the side C is on the PR, and we have the PZQ, is the PZQ is equal to going to the PQZ, let's parameterize it, it's alpha and alpha, and we have the PQR, is the PQR is this angle, right? So this angle, because it's size source list 180, minus the two alpha and the pqr is this for example this is beta so the angle p pqr is equal to the uh, 180 minus the 180 minus two alpha plus the beta uh, is equal to the two alpha minus beta that's pqr right and uh, PRQ, PRQ is equal to the, uh, PRQ is equal to beta. So we know the two alpha minus beta minus the beta is equal to the two alpha minus beta is equal to 42, right? So let's see what is RQZ. So RQZ, uh, you have the, you have this triangle, okay? So RQZ, right? You have this triangle, and this alpha is exterior angle of this one and this one, right? So the RQZ is alpha minus beta. So the angle of the RQZ is equal to alpha minus beta, 
which here you can see is 21 degrees. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you.